Hello, what is up? I hope you're doing well. I'm Kelsey Makes Things, and today we're going to be building a website together from scratch using code. So let's get into it. Yeah. First, let me just give you a little bit of context here on what inspired this video. One of the coolest moments for me on my coding journey I guess, was when I launched a website on the internet for the first time. It was definitely a super simple, static website, but knowing how to create something that anybody on the internet, anybody in the world could access, that was so empowering and exciting to me and really showed me how code could be translated into something that existed in the real, real world. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a domain name. So like something domain name.com or dot some other extension. And I'm going to go to Namecheap for this. It's a domain name registrar that you can buy domain names off of. Hi, this is a good time to disclaim that I'm just going to be showing one specific method. Like there are a ton of different ways to build and launch a website with code, but I'm just going to show one way with tools that I've used in the past that have worked for me. And yeah, anyway, onwards. I'm going to put in giraffe because duh. <laughs> there are definitely some weird ones here. <laughs> um, how about draft.mortgage? Yes, I should do it. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, draft.codes. I like the sound of that. Okay, I think we're gonna do draft.codes. I hope you like that. I like it, whatever, I'm getting it. Okay, so I'm just gonna buy it now. Boom. I am now the owner, the proud owner of giraffe.codes. I got my domain and so I'll make a giraffe inspired site for this domain. And yeah, it's gonna be great. This is me writing some website code. HTML boilerplate, just like so. Gonna modify the structure, then CSS it up. No heavy fancy frameworks here to CSF it up. Let's keep this simple. This is all to make a site that's static. You can add some JavaScript to yours, but mine don't need to have it. If this code don't make sense, check out links in the description. You'll learn some web dev, maybe develop an addiction. Okay. This is what my lovely little web page looks like right now. I know it's beautiful. I'll obviously replace this video here with this current video that I'm filming um, because then it'll make sense, you know? But yeah, right now it's just an HTML and CSS file that are on my computer. It's like all contained here. Um, so now we're going to do the fun work of connecting these files on my local computer to the interwebs. The main idea here is that I need to host these files that I just wrote, the HTML and CSS files, which means that I need there to be a server, like a computer, that contains these files and that is connected to the internet and can serve up my files to anybody who visits draft.codes. And you might be like, okay, you have a computer right here. Why can't you just host it on, you know, this trusty little laptop here? But then this laptop would have to be on 24 seven because, you know, anybody can visit the site at any time and it would have to run special server software all the time and it would have to always be connected, which with my home Wi-Fi connection is probably not going to happen. So this kind of self-hosting is probably not ideal in this case. The alternative is to use a hosting service provided by another company. So today I'm going to use GitHub Pages to host my page. This is a service provided by the company GitHub and it's a free hosting service that works on all static sites. So that is great and perfect perfect for me today. If you're a developer, you probably know GitHub as a website for version controlling your code, but today we're going to use it for both version control and website hosting at the same time, just like this. So here I'm pushing my code to GitHub and from there you can literally just turn on GitHub pages and configure the settings like this. And now that my code is all on GitHub, 
I'm going to go back to my trusty old name cheap and I'm going to go to my dashboard and I'm going to tell them basically that GitHub Pages is hosting my site. So this is how I tell them. So here I'm adding A records, uh, which stands for address records, and these map a domain name, like our draft.codes, to the IP address of the server that's hosting our site. So for us, that's GitHub Pages. So I'm putting down the IP addresses of GitHub Pages, which are these. Okay, let me kind of explain what we just did here. So now that we've done all this, when you go to Google Chrome or your browser, whatever it is, and you type in draft.codes in the URL bar, that request is going to be mapped to one of these server IP addresses that we just put in, um, whichever one's fastest probably. And then that server will serve you the files that we just pushed to GitHub. And then your browser, Google Chrome or whatever, is going to display these files and then you'll see this. And if that any of that was confusing, by the way, don't worry, I explained it super quickly. So I'll also link some helpful resources down below. Anyway, we are almost done with Namecheap here. There is one more step that we want to do. We're just going to add one last record, a CNAME record, and that's going to map www.giraffe.codes to giraffe. Dot codes so that you can type in www.draft.codes and still get redirected to this site. And that's it for the Namecheap configuration. And so now we can go to draft.codes and we'll see this. Yay! Very exciting. Okay, that is it. That is how, that is one way to get a static site up and running on the interwebs. GitHub Pages supports any static files. So you can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or a static site generator like Jekyll, but you can't use server-side languages like Python. But if you wanna make a portfolio or a website online, then everything in this video should be totally sufficient for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I made a lot of static sites using this exact method in college, and I had a lot of fun doing that. And again, it was just the most empowering, amazing thing to see code that I had written here be something that was not just here, that was available everywhere on the internet. It was, I don't know, it was so cool. It still is so cool to me that it's so cheap and so easy to do. So yeah, I hope you found this fun or helpful and thanks for watching and I will see you next time.